You weren't supposed to see this. No one was. Not Washington. Not Brussels. Not even Amsterdam. But now everything has changed. The Netherlands, one of America's closest allies, has done something unexpected. A decision that could shake the entire world of technology. A decision that could change the future of who controls the most powerful tools on Earth. Computer chips. For years, the United States has tried to stop China from getting the technology it needs to make the most advanced chips. It made new rules, banned sales, and asked other countries to help. Most of them listened. Until now, because ASML, a company in the Netherlands, just said no. ASML is the only company in the world that makes the machines needed to build the most advanced chips. Everyone thought it would follow the US rules completely, but it didn't. ASML is still selling important chip-making machines, called DUV machines, to China. That wasn't supposed to happen. And now the US is worried. These DUV machines aren't the most high-tech, but they are still very powerful. They're good enough to help China stay in the game. And that's the problem for America. ASML's former CEO once said, if you try to block China, they'll just find another way. And he might have been right. Because even under heavy restrictions, China has already built a 7 nanometer chip. That's a big deal. It means China is catching up faster than expected. So now the world is asking, is ASML protecting its own business or helping China build its future? Let's look at the facts. In 2023, China made up almost half of ASML's sales, about 7 billion. That's huge. If the company cuts off China completely, it could lose a lot of money and its lead in the market. And that's why the Dutch government is hesitating. They're not just thinking about politics. They're thinking about jobs, about the economy, about staying strong in a world where technology is power. But there's another risk China could hit back. Beijing has warned it might block ASML in return. It's already buying as many machines as it can and spending billions to build its own. If the Netherlands gives in to US pressure, it may lose the Chinese market forever. America believes China can't move forward without ASML. But that idea is already being tested. Reports say China made 70% more advanced chips in 2023 than in 2022, even with the restrictions. That means the more the US tries to stop China, the faster China invests to become independent. Meanwhile, big US companies like Intel, Nvidia and Qualcomm are watching closely. They know the demand from China hasn't gone away. It's just being hidden through smaller companies and secret deals. Every time the US makes new rules, China answers with more funding, more factories, more effort. Huawei's new phone, which wasn't supposed to exist under the sanctions, surprised everyone. Now China is putting another $45 billion into building its chip industry. And it's moving fast. Dutch experts are warning, if ASML keeps selling to China now, it might actually help China learn how to build its own machines. Ones that could replace ASML in the future. And Europe? It's divided. Some leaders say they support the US rules. But behind the scenes, many are frustrated. American companies still get exceptions to do business with China, while Europe is asked to make sacrifices. European chipmakers are quietly pushing back. So the question grows louder. If America protects its own interests first, why should Europe follow? The Netherlands' choice might inspire others to resist too. And if that happens, it's not just about ASML anymore. It's about whether the West can stay united at all. At the same time, China is racing ahead in electric vehicles. It already controls most of the world's battery supply. Now it's trying to fix its weakness, making the chips that run those vehicles. And ASML's DUV machines are giving it just enough help to do that. If China closes the gap in chip making, it won't just lead in batteries. It could lead in the whole electric car industry, leaving companies like Tesla and Volkswagen behind. So now we're at a turning point. The US expected full support, but ASML's decision, even if small, shows growing resistance, a sign that not everyone is willing to follow America's lead. This isn't just about technology. It's about power about independence, about who will control the future. One company, one choice, one open door. And now the world may never be the same again. In 2023, the US Bureau of Industry and Security made a startling revelation. China had increased its domestic semiconductor production by 38%, shattering expectations and sending shockwaves through global tech circles. For years, China was seen as reliant on Western innovation. But then the unthinkable happened. SMIC, once technologically dependent, succeeded in producing a 7 nanometer chip using only DUV machines, a feat that US officials had publicly deemed impossible under existing export controls. That breakthrough marked a pivotal shift, and it didn't happen in isolation. ASML, the Dutch company with a near monopoly on advanced lithography equipment, had continued selling older generation machines to China, despite mounting pressure from Washington. That move, viewed by some as a calculated gamble and others as a dangerous concession, emboldened key players in Asia. 
South Korea and Japan, now watching China surge ahead, are under intense pressure from domestic firms to relax their own export policies or risk losing their foothold in a reshaped semiconductor landscape. According to Nikkei Asia, South Korea's chip exports to China surged by 41% in early 2024, signaling that the tectonic plates of the global semiconductor industry may already be shifting. And yet, despite persistent U.S. pressure, China remains ASML's second-largest market, accounting for 46% of its total sales in 2023, worth over $7 billion. Cutting China off entirely wouldn't just dent ASML's bottom line. It would blow a hole in Europe's fragile semiconductor sector. Analysts at ING warn that if ASML fully complied with U.S. restrictions, it could lose up to 20% of its revenue over the next two years, triggering mass layoffs and slashing critical R&D budgets. The Dutch government, which sees ASML as a crown jewel of national industry, has hesitated to impose a full export ban without meaningful compensation from its allies. But the long-term danger is clear. If China succeeds in developing its own lithography systems, ASML could lose more than revenue. It could lose technological supremacy. The question now isn't just whether ASML can hold its ground, but whether it's buying time or gambling with its future. This isn't a narrow trade dispute. It's part of a high-stakes economic showdown among China, the United States, and the European Union. China has already retaliated by placing export restrictions on gallium and germanium, key materials for chipmaking, tightening its grip on critical supply chains. In response, Washington is preparing a $39 billion expansion of its CHIPS Act, while the EU scrambles to finalize its own $47 billion semiconductor plan. The tit-for-tat moves signal that what's at stake isn't just access to chips, it's economic sovereignty. If the standoff escalates, the consequences could be dramatic. Restrictions on vital tech components, full-scale nationalization of supply chains, and Western firms being forced to choose sides in a new kind of Cold War. Should ASML continue selling restricted tech to China, U.S. trade officials could respond with secondary sanctions on European firms, mirroring the aggressive measures once used against Huawei suppliers. Meanwhile, China is not standing still. Its state-backed semiconductor fund, the so-called Big Fund 2, has pledged $45 billion to develop homegrown lithography machines, with working prototypes expected by 2026. If China succeeds, the implications will be seismic. Leading chip makers like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung, both reliant on ASML, could lose their technological edge. European firms like Infineon and ST Microelectronics are already growing uneasy, with top executives quietly lobbying EU officials for greater trade autonomy. Behind closed doors, alliances are being tested and reshaped. What we're witnessing is not just a battle over semiconductor supply, but the potential fragmentation of the global chip industry into two competing ecosystems one led by the U.S. and its allies, the other by China. For decades, Europe played the role of a neutral economic broker. But ASML's decision, whether strategic or coerced, may be the moment that role collapsed. The U.S. expected the Netherlands to fall in line, but growing resistance from The Hague reveals a deeper truth. Western unity is not guaranteed, and China is exploiting that uncertainty, probing for fractures in the alliance, testing how much pressure it can apply before loyalties splinter. If Beijing succeeds in building a viable alternative to ASML within the next decade, it won't just disrupt the chip market, it could rewrite the global power balance. The Netherlands may have made a short-term decision based on trade, but the long-term consequences could echo for generations. Because if ASML loses its edge to China, this may be remembered not just as a policy failure, but as the moment the West lost its monopoly on the future of computing. And if you think this was the climax of the global chip war, think again. Something even bigger is unfolding, and it could change everything. A new unexpected player is entering the arena, one that neither Washington nor Beijing saw coming.